An off-duty Greensboro police officer was shot and killed Saturday while trying to stop suspects from stealing beer. According to court documents released Monday, Nix was off-duty and not in uniform at the time. Greensboro Police Department honors Sergeant Philip Dale Nix in the days following his death. Community members placed flowers cards in an SUV parked outside Greensboro Police Headquarters to honor Nix and share their support for his friends, co-workers loved ones. Jameer Foster, 18, was charged with first degree of the senior officer. The warrant indicates that Foster stole several cases of Modelo beer, valued at approximately 83, on the day Nix was killed. Zechariah La Pierce Blackwell, 18, was charged with accessory to first degree, while John Walter Morrison, 28, was charged with first degree, burglary and conspiracy to commit robbery. Investigators allege Blackwell Morrison went with Foster to sell beer by drugs. Trio argued that gun used in suspect vehicle's license plate should be destroyed. North Carolina's first blue alert after a statewide blue alert was issued. The suspects were located in Winston-Salem and arrested by Greensboro officers with assistance from Winston-Salem police. The alert system was enacted in North Carolina in 2016 to inform the public to be alert for suspects when a police officer is seriously injured or killed. Blue alerts may also be issued if a suspect poses an imminent and credible threat to law enforcement or if a police officer is off-duty. Blue alert was used for the first time on Saturday. According to state archives, Greensboro City Councilman Zach Matheny said it's an officer's nature to intervene even when off-duty. The integrity that our men and women have. They are never off-duty, Matheny said. He was off-duty but he wasn't off-duty. He was an honest person trying to do the right thing. Officers are ready to serve no matter what they do. Wherever they are, explained retired Durham Police Capt. Robert Gaddy. Greensboro Police outside the Sheets gas station. Photo courtesy of WXII. Matheny told WRAL News he had met Nix many times. Nix, who had a teenage son was described by his peers as a loving husband, father, son and brother. He cared about this community. And he loved his family ten times more than he loved this community. Matheny said, I hope they can feel his arms around them. He also served as a team leader on the department's peer support team for more than 12 years. Foster, who faces first-degree charges also faces charges of burglary and conspiracy to commit burglary. Foster and Morrison are being held without bail. All three are from Winston-Salem and will appear in court on January 2. Additional charges may arise as the investigation continues. It's heartbreaking to lose someone you love who served our community to keep not only us safe, but my children, your children, the community, Matheny said. I don't decide, but I do today. Just be grateful for what we